Leeds Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another, yet another episode of the show with the same shirt. Are these the most reviews I've done in one day? This will be number four. But this is Monday, the 22nd, and uh, I'm recording this on the 15th. So, um, four in one day. That's awesome. So, um, we've got the, um, and I'm starving. It's like, it's almost, it was 1337 a minute ago, so 137 in normal speak. Um, so I'm starving. It's lunchtime. All right, so uh, this is the 2007 Heyman and Hill, not Heyman Hill, but Heyman and Hill, Pinot Noir from the Santa Lucia, or Lucia, or Lucia, probably Lucia, Highlands. No, well, it's probably Santa Lucia, being in California. Uh, Highlands, uh, this is a, um Appalachian in the uh, kind of central part, central coast area of California. Um, it is just east southeast of Monterey and Carmel in California. So that's those areas are south of San Francisco. Just to give you a little perspective. I mean, I had to look that up because I don't know where every where every single AVA in California is. Um, you know, outside of Sonoma in Napa Valley, which is you know, in, you know, I know where Central Coast is, but that's uh, in that area. So. Um, this is a partnership between two gentlemen that at the time, or I think right around this time, uh, were working for Blackstone. Uh, we have uh, David Heyman and Dennis Hill, and they collaborate on this wine. This, I believe, was the last vintage of their wines. Uh, I think they did it for about three or four vintages, maybe five vintages. Um, and they have both moved on to different, to different companies. They, they know neither one works for Blackstone anymore. So... Uh, I'll go in that, go over that in a little bit. It's, it's a Pinot Noir, did I say that? I don't remember. But Pinot Noir, ten dollars ninety nine cents at Gabriel's. Though you've probably already seen it because I've already, she knows as, as I put the glass, the, the bottle down and put the little things up. All right, so let's see how it is. All right, so yet again, this was one of those bottles where when I smelled it at first, let me smell it right now. Okay, so it's, a, it's a, there's a slight difference, and I think it's because it, it's getting concentrated. But uh, definitely had interesting nose when I opened it. So I get that smoke bomb, uh, you know, the stink bomb uh, smell. And when I smell the bottle, I get a little more stinkiness, manure out of it. So already we're starting off good. But when it comes out of the glass... I'm really getting more of the chemical part of a, of a stink bomb. So, uh, not bad. Let's see how it tastes. See how, should see how this stuff tastes. This tastes better than that, I guarantee. I mean, it, I didn't want to make it sound like the spit bucket is going to have better tasting wine than this. It was just a thought that ran through my head. Um, you know what? I, I get some of the stinkiness, the stink bomb stuff. Pleasant, but it, it, it's thin. And I know Pinot Noirs are thin, and you don't want Pinot Noirs that have been that have been given extra body by other varietals. Um, you know, I I know that wine winemakers, especially probably before this, were really doing that. Um, it's kind of thin, a little watery, um, but I'm but. Now I'm getting some subtlety, so that's that's kind of neat. You know, I, I swallowed it because sometimes when you swallow it and then you breathe out, um, 
you, you get a little more out of it. Um, just a little hint of how I do my tasting as I've evolved. Um, I do make sure that I, I get the wine a little bit down my throat. I don't want to just swallow it, but I get a little bit farther back right before I spit it out so that I'm getting, so I'm getting that, that um, the same thing as breathing out as you swallow, you breathe out so it goes through your nose so it gets to your receptacles up there because remember, you're, you're tasting really as far as what you're identifying flavors um, like chocolate or strawberries or cherries is actually from your nose, not from your taste buds. Your taste buds are only going to taste sweet, sour, bitter, and salt. So, um, and if you're Japanese or if you, if you understand how Japanese look at it, there's also savory. Um, there's actually a fifth uh, taste, which just made me think of savory just now. So, I don't know, it, it's tasty, I like it, but I don't love it. Um, I, this is a wine I could just drink by itself because it's easy drinking. Okay, so you can, it's pleasant, but I don't find it really complex. Um, I get a little bit of the stink bomb. I get a little maybe hints of some pepper, but, but I really have to struggle with that. It's like when I stop talking, I'm, I'm breathing out through my nose. I'm trying to get those flavors. I don't know. It didn't blow me away like, like, uh, like this one did, but it's not horrible. It's all right. 11 bucks, something to drink on a casual night school night type of thing you want to just have a, a couple glasses or if you start early enough you drink the whole bottle um, before you have to go to bed and wake up in the morning and go to work I don't know 84 I go with 84 and really just because I would, I would rather, this is definitely one of those wines I would rather smell than drink. Which isn't, you know, a slam because, you know, if it has a good bouquet, but it's also not a spectacular bouquet. 84. Okay. Anyway, uh, so these guys are now, um, let's see, uh, David Heyman is now, according to his LinkedIn profile, uh, the Senior Vice President of Wine Operations at the, uh, Diageo. And um, Hill, uh, Dennis Hill, is now the winemaker and partner at Cannonball Wine Company and also the managing general partner of Hill Family Vineyard, which obviously is his stuff. Um, like I said, I put in my notes, looks like 2007 was the last vintage for these guys. Um, 84, if it's there, buy it, but you can probably find some other Pinot Noirs that are, are better. That's going to do it for today. Um, got an idea for a wine and food pairing. Uh, I'm glad I didn't do it with any of these because I don't think it would have worked. I was actually thinking this one would have worked the best. It could have worked, but I've got a wine and food pairing that I know nobody's ever done. At least I'm pretty sure no one's ever done. And i got to get it done before somebody else steals it from me. Like other people have stolen my ideas. Okay, they didn't steal them. They just got to it first. So, um... Is gonna do it. We'll see everybody again later on this week. Uh, and Portugal will be up. I promise, because I had to have recorded it already. Because I was supposed to. Bye.